Hi, I'm Trinity Wave, and I've designed a yoga core sequence that helps strengthen the center of the body. This helps with balance, coordination, and just feeling stronger and more confident. So if you have a yoga mat, grab that and let's get started. So today we're gonna to start our yoga core workout standing at the front of the mat. Bring the hands of prayer to the heart, close the eyes and take a breath. If you have an intention for your practice today, you can bring that into your mind now. Inhaling arms up, exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift, exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift, exhale forward fold. From here we're gonna bring the left foot back, left knee comes down, low lunge. And from here, we're going to come to tabletop. Hands right underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath the hips. Drop the belly, lift the gay. We'll do a few cat cows here. Last time here. From here, we're gonna go into tiger. So ex extend the left leg back. Inhale, lift to parallel. Right arm can lift, extend. Exhale, curl elbow to knee. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower and switch sides. We're gonna do eight of these. Inhale to lift, exhale, curl. Keep going, switch sides. Doing great. Four. Switch sides. Five. Focus on extending that back leg. Each time you extend. Last time here. Great job, bring the knees out wide, toes to touch, come down for child's pose, take a few breaths. Great job. Come back to tabletop. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Keep a slight bend in the elbows and the knees. Lift the hips up. Press the hands firmly into the ground so that all the knuckles, all the finger pads are touching the mat. Great, from here we'll bring both feet together. Inhale to lift the right leg up and back and bring it back down, switch sides. So here we're doing down dog splits, switching sides. I'm gonna do this eight times. Once again, focusing on the extension rather than the height. Five. Keep breathing. Seven, one more. From here, curl that knee in, bring it up for low lunge here. Step, hop, or walk, forward fold. Inhale, lift up, arms come up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart, and breathe. From here, inhale, lift up through the arms. Coming back to your intention for the practice if you have one today. And then inhale, lift the arms up overhead. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. From here, we're gonna come down to lunge and then back to tabletop. From here, we're gonna pivot out through the left foot, coming into a gate opener on this side. So gate opener pose. First, we're gonna lift and extend the right leg, bend the knee, kick forward and back. We're gonna do this for eight times. Keep a slight bend in the standing elbow. Engage the core. Doing great. Then we're gonna to come to gate opener. Inhale, gate opener. Bring the right arm to meet the left. And we'll do eight candlestick dippers here. So come 45 degrees down and back up, or as far as you can. Keep breathing. Doing great. Keep engaging the core. It's helping to work those obliques. Two more. From here, bring the other knee in so that we're kneeling, hands to the hips. Make sure that you're comfortable here. We're gonna bring the hands down and lift up and to the right. The, knee, the hips can follow here for orbiting the moon. And then we're gonna bring that right arm down, coming to the gate opener on this side. So inhale to lift. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Eight of those gate opener kicks. Three, keep a slight bend in the standing elbow. Four, engage the core. Five, six, swim it back. Seven, eight, lower that leg and gate opener. Left hand comes to meet the right and we'll come down for eight candlestick dippers here. See if you can hold for just a tick at that 45 and then come back up. Four, doing great. Five, six, seven, and eight. Great job. Now we're gonna come all the way down to a knee down plank, bringing the hands slightly forward. We're gonna do four tricep dips here. So, so we're gonna bend into the elbows, dropping the chest. We're gonna do four of these. Try to keep a slight bend in the elbows. Great job, stretch back. Then we're gonna bring the right foot up, coming to low lunge, step hop or walk, forward fold, and inhale, arms come up. Okay, bringing the hands to the heart, inhale and exhale here, coming to your intention. Standing in tension, inhale, arms come up, hands to the hips, bring the left foot back, 45 degrees, inhale to lift the arms up. Exhale, plank pose. From here, we're gonna side plank, four on each side. Keep breathing. Five, six, seven, and eight. From here, we're gonna go to down dog. From here, we're gonna come down to tabletop and we're gonna to walk to the other side. So walking around to the other side of the mat, come back to down dog, bring the feet together, inhale, lift up one leg, crunch in, knee to elbow, switch sides, inhale to extend, exhale, knee to elbow, You're doing great. Keep going. Three, we're gonna do eight here, four, Last one this time, setting that foot down. 
Setting up for warrior one on this side. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale to center and breathe. Come back to your intention for the practice. From here, we're going to come to warrior two. We're gonna bring the right foot back, parallel to the back of the mat. Windmill the arms to warrior two. Look out over the middle finger. Front leg bent up to 90 degrees. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale. And exhale. Again. From here, reach forward and back four times. This last time, flip that palm up, exalted warrior, and plank pose. From here, we're gonna do eight mountain climbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down dog. Coming to tabletop and switching sides again. So turning around to the other side. From here, we're gonna to come to down dog. From down dog, we're going to bring the right foot up. Back foot comes parallel to the back of the mat. Windmill the arms up, warrior two. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Inhale to lift, exhale. Look out over the middle finger. Inhale and exhale. From here, we're gonna reach forward and back four times. Flip that palm up and exalted warrior. We're gonna straighten the front leg, pivot that foot forward, and we're gonna do a wide angle forward fold here. Keep the knees slightly bent, roll down, forward fold and breathe. From here, we're gonna walk the hands to one side and then the other, and then bend down a little bit lower. We're making our way onto the bottom here. Once you get to the bottom, you can begin to roll onto the back. From here, we're gonna bring both knees into the chest to hug, rock from side to side. We're gonna bring the feet out wide, mat distance apart. From here, we're gonna drop the knees to one side, inhale, exhale, go to the other side. Flowing with your breath here, inhale to switch. Bring the knees back up, soles of the feet on the ground. From here, we're gonna bring the right foot to the top of the left knee. Thread the hands through for reclining pigeon on this side. Breathing into any sensation you might be feeling in the hip or the glute. And then we're gonna switch sides. And if you can't quite feel the stretch, you can lean to one side maybe. Maybe you can move the position of that right knee and see if that doesn't change the stretch. You want it to be in between so that you can feel a stretch, but it's not too much where you can't breathe into it. One more inhale and exhale here. 
Great job. From here, we're gonna bring the right leg out long, hugging the left knee into the chest, taking the right hand to the outside of the left knee and bringing it to the right. Left arm extends out like a wing and breathe. Spinal twist here. Now, you might wanna have something on your, on your left side here if this is, if you can't quite bring that shoulder blade down. You could have a pillow or a blanket to help you with this. And then come back to center, we'll switch sides. So this time, left hand comes to the outside of the right knee, hooking, coming to the left, looking out to the right. Come back to center. We're gonna bring both knees into the chest to hug. And begin to rock back to seated. I'm bringing the hands to the heart at prayer. Close the eyes. Gratitude for this body, this mind, and this spirit. And gratitude for my teachers, my teacher's teachers, and all those that share and practice yoga. May all beings be free. May all beings know happiness. May all beings find peace, even me. The light within me salutes and honors the light within you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this yoga core workout. I hope you had a good time and I hope you come back and keep working out. Love and light. Namaste.